Hi, I'm Martin Pring. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words, but I say that a chart is worth a thousand pictures. And that's because charts in the financial markets often scream out very important messages that an important or significant trend reversal has taken place or is about to take place. Each month I publish a newsletter called the Intermarket Review, and each issue contains what I call the chart of the month. And that features a market that I think has just turned or is about to turn. So this series of videos aims at presenting these charts of the month. So if you're interested in them, please hit the subscribe button and you'll be brought up to speed on a regular basis. So without more ado, let's go to the chart room and see what's in store for this month. It shows a historical perspective for annual corporate bond yields going back about 150 years. Underneath is a trend deviation measure that compares a 3-year with a 24-year moving average. Several long-term cycles or secular trends can be observed. Good buy and sell signals have been generated when this oscillator has crossed above and below its red dashed smoothing line. Here are the buys and here are the sells. Nothing's perfect of course and there's a whipsaw signal in the 1970s. But recently another buy signal was triggered, as you can see from this green arrow. That suggests that from a momentum perspective, the secular downtrend in yields that began in 1981 is probably over. Of course it's not possible to buy and sell momentum, so we need to see some kind of confirmation from the yield itself. This chart features a 20-year government bond yield since governments typically lead corporates. Moving averages are not that great, but this 96-month or 8-year series, apart from the whipsaw in this ellipse, has done a pretty good job since the early 1930s. Right now it's around 4.75%. It's also possible to construct trend lines which, when violated, offer pretty reliable signals of secular or very long-term trend reversals. This one forecasted the post-World War II rally that reversed in 1981. And this one signaled its demise. It's also possible to draw a line for the current decline, and it's in the area of the eight year moving average. Both reinforce each other as a resistance barrier, so 4.75% is better on the upside, a secular reversal will be signaled. I would look for a decisive break, say to 5%. Remember, this is a four-week moving average plotted on the last Friday of the month. Finally, if you want to look for something easier to find, this is the iShare Lehman 20-Year Trust ETF, the TLT. Now, it looks to me as if it's in the process of forming a head and shoulders top. A month-end close below $93 would complete it. That would be the first stage. The really big signal would be a penetration of this trend line around $89. If we're looking for a decisive break, let's say $87 is the number. We have to be a bit careful though because the ETF has only been trading a few years, so it's been spliced to another bond series. Even so, I think we have enough evidence elsewhere to suggest that there's a strong possibility that a secular reversal to the upside is a very real possibility. If you enjoyed this chart of the month, you may want to go to pring.com and download a free sample of our intermarket review. A monthly roundup of the world's principal financial markets with a special emphasis on the US. We also look at global indicators, bonds, precious metals, currencies and international markets using ETFs to execute our strategies as much as possible. You'll find unique indicators and intermarket relationships you cannot find anywhere else. In the meantime, thanks for watching and good luck and good charting.